Hey, hey, I'm Casey. I'm Cody. And welcome to the attic. This is Vitamin C Podcast Episode 67. Yep. We are back, baby. You didn't think we left, did you? I'm going to nuzzle you between these nuts. Hold on. Uh, Let me get the timestamp. You might notice a little something special about today's timestamp. Uh, it is it's currently August thir- August 13th. It's a Saturday, which is not usually what we do. Saturday the 13th? Yes. The unlucky day. Missed by a day. Missed by a day. We <laughs> missed by a day because, honestly, I was too goddamn tired to do it. Yeah, we uh, were both in a bit of a slump was... yesterday. I've been already on a uh a bender of bad sleep and i really just needed sleep correct but you may notice we don't sound too different Those again horrible uh we, we have once person. again been reunited and it feels Keep so good fucking muffin out of my ass or muffin out of my ass not muffin i'm in a comfortable seated position i am struggling to find a good spot for the mic I have a little comforter okay. on my legs. Well, I am comfy. Going to have to do. Sorry if I'm far away. Uh, technically, this is my attic. We're doing this in my attic. Yeah, this is Casey's on. attic, because, which I don't blame him at all with COVID and everything. And my, even though technically, Dave should be fine by now. There is a. We, it is better to be safe and give a wide berth. But uh, so next week you should be a hundred percent okay. Hey man, it's fine. As long as everybody is a okay, <clears throat> we'll say the allergies today are a little. Oh, they're a little bad. A little bad I didn't, for me I didn't too. Get to yeah, yeah. Anything, but so. other than that, I think we're doing fine. I yeah. think we're a okay, and I think we're great. I got the no bitches mo two m two. So I got a I got a weird topic to start us off with. It's not really a topic; it's more of a question. Uh, so morning wood, right? It wood, exists. No, it exists. It's a thing. It's a thing. Can't. I promise. It. Only happens to be in a car. How? I'll get to that. <laughs> How long does that usually last for you? Um, I feel like it lasts a little longer than it should. The entire thirty-minute yeah, drive. Yeah, I've done that. <laughs> so that's been the exact same for you as it has for me. Yeah, oh my it, god! So, so you're so telling? Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So you're oh, telling this me? Oh, car is getting me off. No, no, no you're no. telling me that every day that we were driving to work, both of us were pitching a tent in the yes. back seat. A hundred and ten percent, bro. My dick was <laughs> at mass. I like, was doing. Hey, man, I did everything in my power to hide that I shit. Can, I was like, I was like, I was like, just shoving it in. You're there. Like one of those dogs that's like pawing at the bed. No, 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 the ones that like really get into it and they're like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those. Ouch. Wow. Um, but no, I, I was, um, I was like <laughs> changing positions like constantly. I was just like, don't fuck off. I don't need blood there. To all the men in the audience, uh, you know what we're talking about. So. You know what we're talking about. Surprisingly, there's people that still don't understand that boners are not controllable. Not true. Not true. Well, well, okay. If you're conscious, no you reason. Can. <laughs> boners and morning wood are uncontrollable. For precisely their bodily functions, they're probably. You know what it is? It's probably the body's response to making sure your shit works. Well, that's probably what it is. Because I can't imagine people with erectile dysfunction having morning wood. I don't think that's a thing. Oh, well, no. That's just because. They... So the body is probably like, all right, let's uh, wake everything up. Let's make sure all our cogs are working. You know, do our safety checks, do our, you know, preamp. That's probably what it is. But the no reason boners are, are like, are like fucking fire drills for these motherfuckers. I swear Fire to God. Fire drills. They're like, they're like, okay, guys, we got an alarm check. It's just an alarm. Don't, no, you know, it's not a real one. We're just doing a check. And then in the middle of class or work, you're just got a fucking raging heart on. So. I have had, the worst is when I'm, the thing about, like, good old NRBs. What is an NRB? No oh, reason no boner. Reason. The thing about those is they, you know, they happen for no reason, and they can happen pretty much at, like, any time. There we go. Yeah. It might be, like, a thought just... <laughs> Jesus. It might be, like, a thought just grazes 
your mind. Not even like for something me. just flashes in your mind, if at anything, and then your body just rolls with it, and you pie. just kind of get a massive Apple pie. Hard on. What? Uh, for me, it's the worst when I like to wear loose fitting pants. Like, I like so to wear, I... like, silk lounge pants. I love sweatpants, dude. So, when I'm pitching a tent, I'm actually pitching a tent. It's like a circus tent. <laughs> and a guy comes up and it's like, see, da, 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 see, and it's like is, fucking everywhere. This is how you avoid it, right? If you wear sweatpants, there's, there's like a double whammy. So, if you're sitting down, full control, you because sweatpants are, you know, they have the stretchy part, so it'll, it'll like, tent. But it'll tent so far out because of the the span of your thighs that it'll completely hide the boner. Like you can't see it. Bad news: if you're standing, you're you have no defenses, nothing, no jeans holding you back, no no like coveted anything. But then again, I would prefer like a full on raging like pants like uh like a full-on raging sweatpants boner to jeans anyways because it's less comfortable with jeans at least i can like finagle myself well there's 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 a trade-off of for it. jeans it, it's very uncomfortable <laughs> but it's i'd say it's more hidden in jeans like you Enough could probably me, like like <laughs> if i like have one in jeans like if as long as i'm sitting in a per- certain position or like you won't tell that i'm fucking rocking a hog right yeah. now oh you know what that brings me to my issue with it <coughs> also um i the fucking hate i fucking i did not want this to be the dick cast, well i was just but, gonna talk about but morning I, wood for a minute uh, but i, I guess i hate the if you're wearing like actual pants or these shorts are a little tight up top so what'll happen is your dick will part on either side like, that shit's so fucking annoying. Like, just stay... Like, I like pants with the with a little crotch, like, not pouch, but, like, area. That's why I like sweatpants. Like, that cross mm. is, like, so wide that I, it doesn't try to part between the legs. And I'm like, that's so great. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I understand. Um, off of dick. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's, let's, hop, let's hop off this dick. Right into Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, let's go. Let's take our dicks from us to Kung Fu Panda. So, uh, uh, for all you furries out there, no. <laughs> uh, congratulations, you win again. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you've beaten us down, the vitamin C boys. Dude, dudes talk about this because I literally just saw something about it on, like, I think Twitter. Like, yeah, we. Before the cast. Uh, there's a fourth movie coming. <clears throat> and I'm like, the third one was mid. Review, re- all right. So give me, give me your 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 current review? your review of all the first three <laughs> movies. Okay. So give us, give us the first one. Let's, so let's start with Kung Fu Panda one. First Kung Fu Panda, right? So the first Kung Fu Panda is <sighs> what? Oh, it doesn't actually pick up that much. Okay, we're good. You know, I think if um, we're far enough away, we'll be okay. Yeah, hopefully. If you guys can hear the air conditioner, sorry, it's hot as this balls. This might just be an so AC. We're, AC. We're literally in an attic, so deal with it. Um, yes. But the Kung Fu Panda one is a gem. <clears throat> it is. It is a gem. It is perfect storytelling. It has. It. It's like one of those series of movies that like the first one is always going to be gold like shrek like the first shrek it's always going to be the dream gold works standard. it's a dream works gemstone <laughs> yeah from it's, back it, in the it's, day it's the bar it sets the bar for that type of movie and the second one i feel the second one was about let's see the first one tai lung the second one i actually second one was badass the second one is fucking sick i love the villain Mm-hmm. I love Shen. I love I love all the shit that happens. You get to see Kung Fu Masters. You get to see all this crazy fucking shit. You get to get backstory for Poe. Like, I feel like you can definitely tell it's a second movie. But it feels kind of like... And this is weird. But it feels like... You know when movies have, like, the first one's a banger, <clears throat> second one's trash, and then third one's a bop? I feel like it's more of a third movie bop feeling. For some reason. But the third movie is actually the the less good one. It's not terrible, but it it's really isn't that great. Uh, I'm like, oh, Poe and... And wait, wait. The third movie was where he finds his dad, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I did not give a shit. Technically, it's when his dad finds him. Yeah. I, I was just like... I, I For some reason, I felt like there was a huge lack of emotion there. Like, mm-hmm. I, I thought there was going to be more like, Oh, my God! You know, like, like emotion and connection and be like, well, I missed I mean, so many years really... and blah, 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 blah. But it's just like, Oh, hey, son! Oh, hey. It's yeah. like, oh, you were just missing and... Okay. It's like, ah. You know what's funny about Kung Fu Panda is, like, the second movie we get backstory for Poe, right? Yeah. The first movie was released with a bonus DVD. Really? Called, like, Secrets of the Five. And that Mm. gave backstory to, like, the Furious Five. Yeah. But, like, you wouldn't know it unless you had the Secrets of the Five DVD. Yeah, I didn't. So, I <laughs> so <wouldn't know. laughs> like, that's where the the you saved me. Why, mm, monkey? Like that. That's where, that that's where that, that's where that comes from. I didn't know that. It comes from the Secrets of the Five DVD. Monkey. It's that animation, but that's fucking. I mean, great. yeah, Kung Fu Panda One is a gemstone. Kung Fu Panda Two is fucking great. Kung Fu Panda Three is it's mid. good. I think Kung Fu Panda Three is mid. I think it's good. There's I don't think parts, it's. I don't but it, think, I think it's, it's amazing, but it's it's good. I think the the my problem with three is it feels thin. If nothing else, the animation is still fucking. Oh, the animation top notch and beautiful. To- on on yeah, like the animation is great. It's fantastic. But I feel like the 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 pacing and the events that took place were a little thin. I thought they uh, they just really didn't hit. But they had. J. Jonah Jameson and Omni Man to play the that was big great. ox man. That was good. Like I said. But um I need pictures of Spider Man. I need them on my desk. I think I think this is like one of the rare cases Chill. where it's well, it's not actually rare. Where movie the movie is on a decline, a very slight decline. Well, it's just, and really... then and then it drops significantly. It's just, do they really need a fourth movie? I mean, they don't. They really don't. They don't. They I'm don't. Fine. I mean, Speaking now, of now, movies. if the fourth movie fucking hits, then I'm okay with it. Speaking of fourth movie, Morbius. there's a there's a no. uh, <laughs> John Wick. Yeah, there's John Wick. Jordani. If there's one movie series that is progressively fantastic all Woo! the way through. It's the John Wick series. Well, with a few gripes, but yes. No. No, there's gripes. I ain't got no gripes, but I ain't got no Suppressor. gripes. Suppressor. Huh? Suppressor. Who, g- who gives That's a crap? That's my only gripe. That's my only gripe. Also, uh, I, 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 I Everyone still does the seen... Suppressor thing. No, look, 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 though. Look, though. I still haven't seen anybody talk about this theory. I might be like one of the, one of the, you know, every, every now and again, you, you turn into one of the, like, <laughs> fan theory crackheads. Um, well, I have that this fan theory is that in this world, assassination and that type of shit is kind of like known and very Motherfucker, normal. Motherfucker, I brought that up. I brought, I'm the one that discussed that. We talked Don't about it. Don't even come at me like that. What do you that? mean? We both agreed on it. I brought that up. It's like, that's the only reason that. No cops get involved. Well, no this, I mean. no that. Like, There's nobody, no did way. Did you see in the airport when the, the when they yes. were shooting? Oh my god! Nobody was freaking out. We all uh, get that scene, and it's like everyone brings up that scene every time. It's like, uh, yeah, they're great and all, but have you seen this scene? It's like it's fine. It's but, stupid. But the but... explanation for that scene, but like if you take the silencer, like let's pretend the silence. Or sorry, silencers aren't what they're called. Suppressors. Let's pretend the suppressors were loud as fuck and they just didn't put it in the movie. All right, let's pretend the people still didn't freak the fuck out when there was obviously two men firing at each other in public. There was a little bit of hustle, like a little bit of like hustle from a few people nearby, but the majority were like, whatever, it's a normal day in Night City. Um, I don't know what the city's actually called. I think New York, where are they? They were in different cities. I think New York was like. I think New York was one of them. That's... I think one was New York. I think two was. Mm. Two took place in, uh, I think, Italy for some time. Yeah. And then yeah, three, that's true. three yeah. took place in like the Middle East for a bit. Well, well, one one was in New York. Two was definitely in 
uh, Italy, and then it brought back to... Yeah, like, they came back. Wherever. But then it's, like, a lot of the movie takes place in, like, yeah, you know, uh, Italy and such. But when I'm, they're I'm over really there. fucking hyped. I'm really fucking hyped. It, maybe four will explain four is gonna how the world works. A bop. But I really like the fan theory that, like, it's just fucking part of the culture. Yeah. In this world, it's just like, like this is a world where assassination with, and hit that, men that shit is normal. That would actually explain why there were so many hidden assassins there. Yeah. Not just because, because it's oh, basically it's the new. It's basically the new order. For an order that large to not get caught and not whatever and all this other stuff, it's like it's like if the yakuza were a little more prominent, like it, it's well, not just like the yakuza, fucking uh, the mob, everybody. the mob, the mafia, you know, yeah. all that jazz. Any crime syndicate yeah. in the world. But instead of just being crime, they're assassins. Straight Mainly, up, yes. But I'm sure they're doing crime on the side. Oh, I'm sure there's some. Like the one chick who was just going against the rules for money. Yeah. Well, she was still assassinating. She wasn't... I'm talking about, like, there's probably still dudes, like, gun running, running, running drugs, running running this, running that. Uh, oh, I'm sure. There's probably How some dudes... How do they dudes, get their guns? How do they get their... There's probably some utilities. dudes running a sex trade at some yeah. point. Like... Yeah, yeah. If you can live in an organization like that, I don't know the rules of the table. Like, I don't know what they do or what that goes through everything. Like, I hope the fourth movie explains more about the table and, like, what they're all about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I want the but table to fall. I'm pretty sure four is going to be Wick going f- after the table. The table. Because, that, like, that's really the only place he can go. That's only after the way three. to stop this shit. Yeah. So, like, either Wick dies in this movie while going after the table yeah. or he like becomes the new table and oh. like makes Yo, a new table that would be so good if john uh john uh the chick i barry played and uh, the, and uh and uh morpheus the, yeah the sewer king guy or um whatever. and and uh and then maybe the dude who maybe ran, the dude who ran the, the original continental, continental if they became the new um the new table the new table That'd be so fucking sick. I'm so for that hostile takeover, dude. It's such a good takeover. Who's... Wasn't one of the dudes Winston. in the fourth movie gonna be like... Wasn't it Bill Skarsgård? Who? Isn't he like the, the fucking dude who played It? He was oh. in uh, Devil All the Time. Oh, I don't... I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh. I'll, 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 I'll look up uh. the, the thing here. Devil All the Time. John Wick Chapter 4. That's coming out next year. I feel like I know who you're talking about, but I can't think of it. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Bill Skarsgård. Bill Skizzard. This guy. He plays Pennywise. Oh, wow. He's okay. going to be a John Wick 4, and I think he's like one of like the main people. The main table heads. Uh, he, look, he looks like he could play it. He looks pretty evil. But, oh, uh, yeah, I just yeah. hope that this movie, I mean, from the trailer, it already looks like it's going to be, but, like, yeah, I, already, yeah. I just hope that this movie keeps that fucking John Wick flavor and oh, I, keeps I going hope with it. I hope it doesn't fail to uh, perform. Uh, I, def- I don't see them doing it. Like, with the formula they've got and how they've been working with it, I don't, that's going to come up great on the mic. Probably. But... With the formula they got going on, I don't see them really, like, as long as they've got the same people, so, like, well, the same, like, choreographers and shit, yeah, yeah, and, like, and all, all that jazz. And the, and the gun stuff. Yeah, I think, I that. think they'll be fine. I don't really see them <gasps> fucking this up that bad. The, at most, it might just be like, eh, it's not it's quite as good. John Wick. It might be, you know. It's easy to turn on and just watch. That's, that's the best so... part about the Wick movies. Other than that, I'm sure there's other movies we could talk about, but I kind of want to hop over to gaming, and there's a big topic that's going to be in the thumbnail today. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So, just recently, during Evo, um, big fighting game championship thing, if no one knows. At Evo, uh, there were a few announcements. Bunch of games getting rollback netco- netcode, which is fantastic. What does that mean? 
Rollback netcode, I never knew, like, the specifics, Ugh. but it's, like, the way to do multiplayer in, like, fighting games nowadays. Okay. I don't know the specifics. I'm not super, like, educated. All I know is, like, if, you're, if your game's got rollback netcode, you'll oh. be you'll be fighting sl sleek and slim, you know, like... Oh, so it's a, it's a, it's a really good uniform. Yeah, it's like way. good. It's a good way to work with like the servers and like the multiplayer <clears throat> online in general. Okay, but like certain games are getting netcode. Um, for example, Dragon Ball Fighters at some point is getting rollback netcode, which is <sighs> crazy because Bandai Namco hasn't embraced rollback netcode while a lot of other fighting game. Yeah. People did. Like, f rollback netcode is a thing that happened just <gasps> recently. Like, within the past, like, year or two. I think I they're feel. being forced to because it's just better. Because rollback netcode apparently just breaks the game as far as online goes. Yeah. But, uh, some characters were announced for some games. Like, we got a character, uh, Bridget, for Guilty Gear Strive. Uh, we got some announcements. Uh, possible leak for Tekken 8. Uh, possible, possible teaser, because like at the end of this big like <sighs> announcement that Tekken Seven's having like a another world championship, blah blah blah. It's like this big like trailer. Like at yeah. the end, it shows a scene from like Tekken One where like Kazuya is carrying Heihachi over to the cliff, and he throws him off the cliff. And when it zooms in on Kazuya's face. And his PS1 ass face turns around <laughs> to smirk at the camera. It immediately snaps into a super like like, graphically amazing-looking Kazuya Ooh. smirking, and it says, get ready. Oh, and it's like, oh, shit. no, people are going to be getting Tekken 8 news soon. <laughs> but but uh, the one for me uh, is a fighting game that I've actually been excited about coming out. Uh, Street we Fighter we 6. We fuck with a lot of fighting games other than Mortal Kombat. We don't. We haven't. Uh, and even Mortal Kombat 11 was like... We mid, yeah. It was very mid. It was okay. It had but cool, it was, cool, cool, it good DLC really characters. Really good too. It looked good, really good. Good DLC characters, a little bit of fun, but it got boring real quick. Yeah, that's the thing. But like Street Fighter Six looks like it could keep you for a bit. Oh, like that, sure, that it, oh, having your own character. Oh well, that's for that like battle that world tour that mode thing. or whatever. But that sounds cool. But shit, too. um. I'm really excited for the coming of Street Fighter 6. It looks like the uh, one of the first fighting games I might actually, like, get down and dirty with, you know, and actually try and learn. Because uh, it just, it looks fantastic, pardon me. Yeah. Uh, but okay. we got news about some characters for Street Fighter 6 recently. Uh, we got Kimberly, who's a fun-loving, like, she's like a, like a street artist who's got you know, she's got some, she's got some energy to her. Like she, she, um, uh, implements like, uh, what am I talking about? Spray cans, like yeah. spray paint. Yeah. She implements those into like her move set. And she's very, she's just very peppy, very like energetic character. And she's very colorful she too. Like she's got moves. some, like the, the colors in G, in Street Fighter six are just it's so good, good in general. They're but so like, good looking. With her, like, outfit, she's so vibrant. She's got, like, reds and blues and yellows yeah. and shit. And, like, she she looks great. She looks fantastic. But what I'm excited for is oh. they revealed my girl, Jury. Mm. And she looks fantastic. Like, granted, yeah. I mean, the thirst factor is in there somewhere. The thirst because... factor is over 9,000. I mean, of course. The and thirst... we talked a little bit about this game before, too. Yes, but, like, we didn't talk about specific characters. No. I mean, we... We talked did, about but... the the fact that they're finally aging people. Yeah, it'd be nice, like Ryu and Chun Li. But um, thick mama. What? It, the, the the thirst factor is there, but um, I just couldn't get over just how good the animations and shit looked. Like I was, I'm sitting there and I'm watching Jury do like her like spinning kick mm -hmm. combo with like the the like inky like trails coming off it and she's like spinning and like flowing into different kicks and shit yeah. and it's just like oh my god and then her facial animations are fucking I phenomenal want, i want somebody to go through and make an edit of like with badass like street fighter music with like it's kind of like shifting or phasing through like the different years of street fighter 
And then it like dun, 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 yeah, and, and it, it fucking the... like crazy graphics like glitch or something into like the new one and it's just it just I'm sure you can hard. find videos like that. Yeah, it's probably already made, but but oh my god. Cody is confident that this is the Whoa, fighting mama. game that he's gonna Whoa. beat my ass in. Whoa mama. Huh, huh, huh. Fucking Johnny Bravo for Chun Li right now, okay? Oh, well, well, he's hot as shit for Chun Li right now. Chun, like, he's consistently Chun fucking kill me. Uh, Chun Li versus everybody. <laughs> everybody. Yeah, because she'd be Goku though. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, she could. Nope. Yeah. Nope. She killed Chi Chi and become Chi Chi. Then she just gets fucked by Goku. She doesn't. She wins. She that's wins. She now has the strongest man under that her was belt. Plan all along. She she now has to. She manipulated the strongest man on earth. She wins. She she just wins. No, she can't beat Goku. Sorry, she already beat him. If she if your character can't beat Goku, fuck them. They ain't shit. Is that right? Sorry, I'm sorry. Who, who's Jerry? Yo, he he going in Fortnite though. Who? So, oh oh shit, he is. Yo, that's not going to be good if they uh, fuck up the Nimbus. They're going to... They run. better not... They better put the goddamn Nimbus in there. Fortnite, you've been missing... And I think we ranted about this before. But you, you've been missing small, very important details. Darth Vader's fucking lightsaber. What the fuck? Well, you, uh, I can see what they did with that one because Darth don't. Vader's lightsaber is like a, a, a legendary weapon that you can get in the game. And not like I a harvesting tool. Legendary swing, bro. Like I can see that. That's fine. Whatever. But what gets me is the fact that Jinx never got a fucking glider for herself. It was kind of scuffed. Cause like obviously they could have. Cause like they have a glider in that game that's literally like a bomb that you surf on. Oh wow. Which yeah, they could have just is. done. They could have just done that Do we again. Have, like rocket thing. Well, they they have a glider in Fortnite that's like a rocket or like a bomb that yeah. you surf in on, yeah. which is exactly what Jinx does in what the old like get Jinxed music video. Yeah, but they never gave her a glider like that. Like they could have just done that again. They like, missed gave the mark a on a lot of characters. Like they they they. Can I'm totally thankful do for what they do for certain like the fact that they include certain characters. It's like oh man, this is this is cool. Granted, they're all just skins. They're not nothing special. Yeah, it's nothing just a, special. what your character looks like. Like, I'm not going to give this one to really uh, Fortnite because at the end of the day, they, they're just, uh, it's Fortnite, so. Well, yeah, it's Fortnite. It's only, uh, it's, uh, speaking of a Fortnite-type game, you showed me yesterday? Oh, yeah, but you never really, you never really... We didn't get into an actual match. I wanted no, to show you an actual match. match so. uh, Rumbleverse just came out. Rumbleverse well, it like new... came out. Like it's it's in a released state. I don't think it's in like uh, it's... like an alpha or a yeah. Beta. I don't think it's in like a full full state. But it's still it's released to the public now. It's free to play. It's it a battle royale that I've. It's a battle royale that's like all melee focused, which is something that I was wanting for. A while. The the movement reminds me a lot of the if you the pick, DC universe. The DC universe. If you pick the like movement the, style, the free run or of, whatever of uh, the motherfucking Batman free run or the Batman one, where it's like you rely on acrobatics. That's the one I always chose. That was my favorite. I I originally thought about doing that, but then I switched to super speed. Dude, super speed is just so fucking nice. Like well, yeah, flying just too run up slow. Shit. Flying's too slow. Super speed. You can run across water. You can run up buildings. You could do, liter like I fucking loved it in that game. It was only a bitch when the mission required you to do specific things and you had to make sharp, like small aerial turns. And I was just like, ah. But super speed was, dude. That game went to shit. I, I mean Nick were on it, a few weeks back. Actually, a few months ago. <laughs> It went to re it really went to shit. Unfortunate, but yeah, Rumbleverse is fun. It's super cartoony, super goofy. Uh, you can play singles, you can play duos. It's forty players. Very nice. It's uh, it's fun. It's hard. Like you, you gotta really be on your game in that game. Like if you end up in like a free for all, you're basically just fucked unless you're like really 
on top of things. Dude, why are you shitting yourself? Dude, I just ripped some dog fart. Like, it's, uh, it's really bad. It's really, really bad. Jesus, dude. Whoo, that's like a horse's ass right there. You have been nonstop shitting yourself since you got here yesterday. I was shitting myself at work as well. Like, at work, I... I oh, Every time I went on break... By shitting, by the way, I mean he's just farting up a storm. Yeah, I'm not shitting my pants. Not... <sighs> not yet. <clears throat> oh my god, it hit Casey. I think Casey. it came over here. How did it hit Casey? But, oh, um, man. So, I've been, like, farting since yesterday at work. And uh, I would have to hold it during lunch. Sheesh, and it would amalgamate into other farts. And there it goes again. And... <laughs> It's just, uh, it's just, you know, if you need to clear a room, you can call me at 1-800. I have never met a man more <laughs> flatulent, more fucking soupy shit Ooh. in, like, oh my god. Oh, my stomach's churning, too, after that. Oh, god, you are, you are foul. I'm, you I'm know a, that? I'm a fucking tank. You are worried I'm about, septic. like, your image on the Vitamin C podcast, oh. and yet shit like this happens all the time? Like, like I'm fine with this behind an audio track, but, like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm fine what? if they hear how disgusting yeah. I can be. I, I mean, yeah, no, man, homie, like, you can't see this delicuousness. So... That's all you need, is that Jesus. right there. Some bass on that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but dude dude is just laying on his side with his gut out <laughs> all three tons oh all 45 gallons man why you gotta why you gotta be so delicious why you gotta come to my den and fill it with fucking soupy shit fart <laughs> all the time like, all the fucking soupy time. shit farts <laughs> It's all the time, dude. Like, I don't I think there's ever you. been a, di a time that you've come to the den there that you haven't just day. laid a When I was on that one diet, over. I did not shit at all. When I was oh, on, you shit. Not when I was on that one diet. I seem to recall when, we were working, when I was working with you. No, when... before that. Oh, this is before that? Yeah, this is when I worked construction. I was eating well and stuff, and I did not fart. Dude. Why don't you do that? From well... Now on? For like ever, maybe. it's really hard to stay on, and I'm not working construction, so I don't get the exercise I did. And I really don't. It's uh, the sh the shitting has just gotten. The so shitting bad. is going to be in the fucking walls. For you're gonna the there's... paint is going to peel <laughs> off of this den. The paint. I bet you if I fart directly at the wall, it would like. Please don't. Singe I don't up. want. I don't want. It would like, like a cardboard brown stain. <laughs> like, like you know when you get like cardboard wet and you come back after it dries and it's all crunched up and shit. <laughs> That's what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look like. You could that. peel the paint off a fucking chassis with that fucking I shit. Could, I could fucking burn somebody's eyebrows off like in SpongeBob. I'm glad. I'm glad that you people. Don't have to experience this what I do greatness on a consistent this is, basis. This is what we do. This is this is why we're here. We're here to talk about ripping ass, poo poo shit fart, and, and dicks. boners, and and games. This is this is why we were put on this earth. Uh huh. For, for this. this is this is why we were put on this earth. To suffer. If this is why I was put on this earth, <laughs> I'd rather not be on it. If this is the only reason... Well, you know, no. Elon's going to take us to Mars, so you can just do that. Oh, right. I forgot about Daddy Elon. <laughs> Daddy Elon! Yo, Tesla jobs are terrible. Wow. Character development. Character That's crazy. development! Shut the fuck up before I rip more ass. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to do it whether I do something or not. Yeah, you're right. You're just going to rip. <laughs> Get out of here. Baby... You dude, to, no, dude, the fart and jugs last night were just so on point. We were both ripping ass at like perfectly timed events. We were playing God of War, and um, because uh, Ragnarok's War, the, coming out, yeah, the rebooted one, not so, rebooted, but the, not rebooted, but the continuation, yeah, continuation. Um, the the new Ragnarok's gonna be coming out, so I'm like, fuck yeah, let's play, let's play God of War. It was free, so like I just I've just had it. I've never played it myself. It's worth but playing. It's fun. 
I loved it. It's fun. It's a good challenge. I have fun with it. I mean, but no, what got me last night was when we we're playing Seven Days and like <laughs> I'm drinking water in Seven Days, so I'm like pantomiming. Me. I'm going. <sighs> And he rips fat ass. <laughs> and then Casey goes, <laughs> Yeah, I go, <laughs> and I, I couldn't I tell if it, up. I couldn't tell if it was a real. <laughs> I straight up sucked a fart last night, and it was <laughs> not fun. <laughs> so fucking funny. It was not fun at all. I, I could I was laughing so hard, my I couldn't. Really I don't need to be it. intimate enough with my friends uh. where I need to taste what the inside of their bowels <laughs> taste like. <laughs> Yo, if you ever need it. Yeah, <laughs> Priority to eating ass just to take their farts. <laughs> that's eat. ass light. That's that. <laughs> yeah. L I T E. <laughs> light. No, dude. No, dude. Yo, I need uh, I need the sample to eating ass. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do it. <laughs> like. Can you imagine that being a thing? Booty loop. Booty loops. That is the worst. I'm not thinking about that right now. I put a mental block on that. So so that I can just say the word without thinking of it. And it's still breaking down these walls right now. And I'm trying really hard not to think about it. Uh, so. Uh, fuck. <laughs> um. Uh, uh, the Cheetos puffs are terrible. Just leave them as normal Cheetos. Casey's, Casey's about a gag, dude. Oh, no. We are not going back. We already did this on the cast. We're not doing this. I Am fucking hate it. I uh, hate Amadeus it. Wolfgang, Amadeus Bach. <laughs> uh, fucking... Wolfgang, uh, Amadeus Bach? What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm mixing people. There's a... There's a I brought my CDs of, uh... Why why oh, did sorry. you bring these Mozart CDs? Uh, I was gonna put them in my car, and I forgot to put them in the car. This is Mozart, right? It is. I think so. Wolfgang Amadeus Bach Mozart. Bach <laughs> Mozart? Yeah, that guy. On the 250th Mozart. anniversary of his birth, celebrate the genius of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart with this commemorative five-disc release of his best and most treasured works. Yeah, that's the one from the other cast. And then you look at the front and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> Squilly and fancy <laughs> Dude, straight up, just like... <laughs> Why, he looked like a Moai head. What is a Moai? <laughs> Easter Island. Oh, Jesus. Kind of looked like a Moai head. Well, that Moai head was apparently drowning in pussy. Vine boom. <laughs> 250 put... years. Wait, what, what time the, is what it? Is this? 37.58? If I remember, I'll put the vine boom in. No, you don't have to put a vine boom in. I'm, I'm not going to make you do that. I'm okay. not going to make you do work. Sorry, I had to put that down. I have to build a computer this weekend. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Peter. Oh, God. <laughs> Lois. That, that means that every, uh, I'm coming. Uh. That meme is literally everywhere. Um, <laughs> I have to I have to build a computer she this weekend, and then give it to a person at some point, and then. You mean the person being Nick? Uh, no. No, a guy we used to work with who got fired. Oh, good for him. <laughs> well, he never showed up. Best thing that could happen to him. Probably. <laughs> Place. <laughs> that place is hell. Did you say the name of our workplace? I did say the name of our workplace. Oh, I gotta censor that. No, you don't have to. I will. Huh. We've said Fuck enough em, who bad cares? things that I will censor them. Yeah. Um. Scrumus Lubel's chilling up there on the wall. Yeah, that's going to have to come down at some point. Yeah, I was thinking about erasing him last night and just making something else, but I didn't have any, any ideas. That's got to come down. That's not... I'm trying to think... What Wasn't there, like, some big-ass, like, news we had to talk about or something? Like, I thought there was something I really wanted to talk about. And it just escapes me. Every fucking cast. i got to start writing them down again. 
I don't have big news. Do I wouldn't say big. Do you have any news? Any news at all? I don't know. Like you said, you don't have big. I'll stop crumpling that. Yeah, stop crumpling that. You're ruining my train of thought. Whore. Uh, um, yeah, no. Uh, I mean, still job we, searching. We're very, like, <laughs> groggy because we just woke up. So yeah, is, I didn't wake up. This, this is, is technically like right a, now. this is technically like a, like a earlier This is like cast. A, uh, yeah. We don't usually do it this early. Well, yeah. Then we, again, this we, early, it's still like, we Saturday. woke up at like fucking 11, mm-hmm. 10, 11 ish. Probably still like, grab some food after this. Still too early, man. It's too early. Damn right. You just can't. You can't be doing it. Oh man. Uh, you ain't bad. Just sit here and, and groan into the microphone for the next fucking thirty uh, minutes. You're just gonna fucking groan. Uh, By all means. Uh, no, I can't do that. This okay. Oh. Uh, well, I thought. Okay, you know what? I, you know, all right, fine. I'll talk about something. Okay. I've got Pokemon? a collection of like first edition Pokemon cards over there. See. Like, there's like a little container full of like different ones, it's like a bunch of energy cards mainly. Huh. I swear to God, yeah. I owned the Charizard, the first edition holographic Charizard. I did. Yeah, you did because I saw it. I had I one. It. I had at least I had one or two. I remember having like I one or two. I can verify that I that was not one of the cards from you that I stole. So I have no idea where the fuck that went. I don't either. Did you have somebody else at your house looking no, at No. There ever? used to be I had books, right? Like I had Pokemon card books yeah. that you could like slip the cards into. I'm thinking it's in one of those. And I don't know where those books went. They probably went to somebody else or trash. That sucks, because that card is apparently worth shit. I don't know if it's worth shit anymore. It was. It was. But I know that I own one of those. I know that I did, unless it was like a misprint. No, you, no, I remember you fucking... Well, no, there's specific things for Pokemon cards. Well, still... Nathan's brother was here the last hangout, and he was going through some of those, and he was telling me how, like, you know, certain misprints and such and such, yada yada, if it doesn't have this, it's not a real blah blah blah, and it's like, okay, that's alright. So, Uh, if I can find that card, I can confirm whether or not it's... You've been looking for that card since you fucking moved originally because it still crosses my mind like i owned that and i I could have gotten some cash off that yeah sadly because i'm pretty sure it's like in a sleeve somewhere it's gotta be i remember you had it's probably not in great condition anymore but you had it in that sleeve you definitely had it in that sleeve. I had it in a sleeve. Did yeah. your mom ever like sell some of your old cards or your books or anything? Technically, like? they're not. A, technically, they weren't. Like, did they you were my brother's like cards. All of these cards were technically my brother's did your cards. Your brother sell his books or cards or something. Um. Did anybody in your family accidentally take the books and sell I them? D- I dude, I don't know. I don't know. I wish I knew. Because I was gonna say like, I'm. I remember having like some shit like specific Game Boy games and DS games that I will never get back that just went missing one day. And I cleaned that bitch out and they're just fucking gone. My mom threw all my fucking Bionicles away because she's dumb. (laughs) Dumb bitch! Stupid bitch! Poor woman! Fucking cock! Um, no, uh... My Bionicles! She she literally... (sighs) So dumb. She thought they were broken. Bro, I could fucking build a she Bionicle right now. She thought they were fucking broken. Like, bro, how do you not know a ball joint? Like, come on. Come on. Well, it might have just been oh, that goals. there was a piece missing off one, and you can never find the piece, so she's like, all right, fuck it, get rid of it. No, they weren't built. They were parts. <laughs> you never <laughs> built the motherfuckers? So like, how do you not realize they're like Legos? No, I built some of them, but like... Like, they were just fucking, like, you're sitting in there and parts fall off. It's like, what the fuck? 
or like there's spare parts. I'm like why? Why do you think everything? Dude, is broken? I could build the shit out of one of those. I'm still upset about that, bro. I had the badass this 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 fake ass bionicles. I had Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! This motherfucker just said badass this 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 this. Yes. I had that weird lion one with the fucking crazy lion armor shit. And it wasn't even Bionicle, I don't think. I don't know if that was Hero Factory or what. But there's some crazy shit. Yeah, I owned a few. I had those, like, deep sea creature ones that were pretty cool. Yeah. The ones that you could, like, fling little squid lamprey off of. Okay. Ugh. So you know something fucking weird that I've been experiencing? This is technically the first, or the second episode we talked about Bionicles. This is... The last one was Eve, with Eve. Yes. Um, my facial hair is fucking with me because I keep thinking I have like a hair, like from like something else on my face, and it's just my fucking facial hair touching me. Yeah. Now for me, my my, what what I have, I have like a neck beard going on, but like what I can grow, it's just itchy. Like I'm I'm all itchy. I got to shave. You need to no. You need to scratch it. Like this, like lightly, so that it, it starts to, like, jostle it. And, like, it'll be like, oh, I gotta grow! Jostling. But you should be doing this, like Nate said. Like a crackhead um, right now. Yeah, right. Uh, Scratching myself. But I was thinking, like, it's, so, it's weird, because I can't remember what I was doing, what I was eating. But I was eating something, and my fucking this on my chin touched it before... Like, just touch it. Like, normally I would be able to get in there and just fucking whatever. But, like, it fucking touched whatever I was eating. I was like, what the fuck? It's like a whole new border. I'm like, no! So, I don't... Bro, that's interesting. Are we out of anyway. things to talk about? We are not Is out of things to... C no, 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 no. Out no, 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 no. See, do. that's what you think. Where's our crackhead energy, Casey? No, see, that's what you think. But the thing about the vitamin C boys is we just have periods of recharge. We we don't run out of shit to talk about. No, we no, run out no of that's energy. impossible. No, we run out of energy. We, we just, do. we recharge. We we come back stronger than we before. We might. I mean, we've taken a lot of breaks. Sometimes when we take a do break. Do we take another break? Another break? And tell you what. All right, because we've been grinding I'll tell, for a while. Let me tell. Let me tell you when we take our break. Okay. We make episode sixty nine, and then we take a break. Yeah, I'm I'm on board with that. After episode sixty nine, the boy, the vitamin C boys will go on break and be back with something good for episode seventy. Yeah, that sounds actually like a really good plan. Um, because it's not that like we don't have stuff to talk about. I guess it's just more like I'm burned the fuck out. Cause I'm trying to, I'm trying to well, literally. We're also doing a lot of shit. Hold up this shithole. We're not fucking job. Um, Cause like this isn't the only thing we're doing. It's the fact that we're doing all this other shit. Like God, yeah. me, it's exhausting just trying to get back into the job market again. Like I've been trying to find a job that's been that you know that's decent. And I'm blah, trying blah, to, blah, I'm but... trying to balance having a shitty job that barely pays me enough, and I'm doing like fucking leagues of work for them and pissing me off. Every day to and and trying to do that and not be miserable while um you know like taking time for myself and trying to get work done on like the cast or like trying to get my own shit done and or like hey spending time with friends like I'm I'm running into the same problems that I had a year ago where I could not juggle it all because it's just too much shit. And so right now I'm like I'm slowly approaching the same space of like burnout and freak out and I'm like I'm like okay so let's look at how we stop this and I think I think like we have to put breaks on the cast every now and again and every we have now and to again. do very low low editing for until the cast. we can make this a viable something thing. we can like something that continuously we have the time work for. on like like in all honesty like this probably won't pick up ever and I'm fine with that. Oh, sure. But I you know want, what this is going to do? I this is going to sit. This. this is going to sit on YouTube for a while. And we're going to completely forget about this. Or just like leave it aside. And then it's going to pick well, up. We're going to get canceled five times first. Oh, well, yeah. I, like, I got I to gotta like say some, some the vitamin stuff C, first. Well, no, no, no. The vitamin <laughs> C boys are already canceled. Oh, right, like, right. Like just because of our 
we were born in PA. That oh, yeah, like you're instantly, right. you're if right. you're from if, PA, you're a little. You know, we're already little, canceled. You're not PC, so. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, we're already canceled, bro. Sorry, canceled for breathing. Sorry. Canceled for being lied to for years. Sorry to the insert group here. Uh, <laughs> sorry about saying insert bad, insert bad, religion, terrible word insert, here. Yeah. And we're sorry about saying shit about the insert religion here. Yeah. So freaking... you know, we're sorry. Wait, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. <sighs> So, <laughs> we both, yeah, yeah. oh wait, we forgot the YouTuber side. Oh like, shit, I forgot. Like, hold on. But, yeah, it wouldn't hurt to take another little podcast break and yeah, just no, try think, and I get, be healthy. try and get things situated, situated and planned Until out. Until we're into a groove. I, I'm still working on the vitamin crit formula. Mm-hmm. Uh, I still have to figure that out. Um, I'm going to be doing a, a series of really dog shit stupid little short videos of asmr for pouring drinks i've got to get my voice demo out and, at some uh, point i'll I've see gotta, if that picks up maybe we can get something off of that i've got to get my skills with the thumbnails and photoshopping the and nail such thumb. honed no i think i think i think you got like a real knack for the thumbnails i think i think really i got good. an knack for it. i just wish i knew what the hell i was doing because i like i i've i used very limited tools to like make these thumbnails well, you, you also i mean honestly if we if we got money like not like not like just one of those stacks money but just like but but just, uh no but like just like enough money to buy or to pay for that one site that I keep getting advertised for, uh, where they have a bunch of like, I mean, no, we we have a free stock photos like thing, and we have a free, well, I guess for a lot of our shit. Hey man, I make do. I just wish you were okay with me letting you me with me, letting me use our faces. Like I'll use, I can use my face, like but my no, face. no, Cody won't let me use his face. I'm, I'm fat. I think you just fucking. I'm fat. Nut up. I don't want to. I think you just nut up. Whatever is on the Instagram is is far I think, as I was willing. I think willing. you just nut up. And after seeing what was on the Instagram, I was not I happy. Think you just nut up, maybe. No. You just maybe. No. You just maybe stop doing no. that. No. Not up. I gotta be, uh, I gotta be, uh, fucking, like, saucy before I do that. No, you don't. Too insecure. You just, I think you just nut up. That's what I think. But they used to be skinny, so I wanna get back. Who cares? People have seen a fat guy before, Cody. <gasps> people have seen fat people. Fat people exist. I'm not trying to be the fat friend. You're not the fat friend. We have fatter friends. I mean. You're technically not the fat friend. Technically, I'm not the fat friend. But I mean, out of, like, the, the YouTuber duo, I'm the fat one. Yeah, and that, technically, that archetype works. That you got, archetype you've got the big and you've got big. the long. <laughs> yo, that is how it yo, works. what the fuck? Why is that? It's so dumb. I used to be told That is the ar- archetype. You have big and you have long. That That is the archetype for, like, pair videos and shit. It really That's is just how a it society. works. This is a society. <laughs> yes, this is a society that we live in, where the big, where the big and the th- and the long exist in in, in equilibrium. In equilibrium. It's fucking... Equal, e- equality, equality is what you're looking for, long. not yeah. equilibrium. When do I hit to stop it? I don't remember. I'm not stopping it yet, but like I, I don't remember. Uh, I think you hit the stop button. <laughs> Yo, that's <laughs> that's crazy, bro. I think you hit the button. This is stop. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. But um, I want to get a background made, um, that actually has like our socials and shit. Yeah, we can uh, get I that get, made. I want to get like a fucking template. I just don't we, know what'll match. We could get that made. What can we match? Like it's such an ugly we'll figure fucking it out. thing. Don't worry. What color? But, um, yeah, so expect the Vitamin C Boys after episode 69 to just take a little mini hiatus, you know? Just take a moment for us to collect ourselves, get some shit in order. Uh, we can even, you know, get, we, we'll have little council meetings, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where we'll sit down and we'll think things over. We're gonna, um, by the way, next week is officially the... 
back to normal audio, back to normal everything. I'm going to try to fuck, I don't know if I said this, but I'm going to try to fuck around with the audio a little bit. Uh, maybe make it sound a little bit better. But other than that, yeah. But hopefully, after our little hiatus, we'll have things ready. Maybe, maybe, well, that's, that's, that's a stretch. A mouth one? Yeah, I was going to say it's a stretch, but we it maybe could have a, a mouthwash a episode out. by Every fucking time we try to do something other than the cast itself, I just leave it. Yeah. And I don't edit it because I'm, I don't, it's not that I don't want to edit. It's just that I look at it and I'm like, Jesus Christ. And I just get so disgusted with how shitty it is mm -hmm. because like I judge my work harder than anything else. It's like that artist bullshit. It's the same thing when, when I was doing uh fucking uh, masonry, I would look at it and it could be perfect. And I would be like, this looks like shit. I don't want to do this. Well, that's the thing. Like me, for me, it's like my artwork and shit. Like I'll mm -hmm. look at it and it's like, it's oh, it's decent. But like, no, no, I could, I could be way better. And that's one of the reasons why I don't go get into it. Like. And you get yeah, discouraged by yourself. I get discouraged, but, like, I also have been in a rut for a while, and, like, I haven't sat down and dedicated anything to my artwork in quite some time. Because, like, the only way I'm going to get better and improve is if I continue to do said artwork, but I never do. And worst case scenario, hold on, worst case scenario, you just do art in your free time as, like, less of, like, a boom and more of, like, a side thing. That way, yeah. that way, it's less of a burden on you and more of a like a just a little thing you can do. And then when it gets to a certain point where you are confident enough, you hammer down and start using it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, I'll, I'll I'll get around to it. I art has been a big, like character art, I guess, has been a uh. big part of me for a long time and like i'm nowhere near the point where like i'm 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 not terrible but like i'm not near the point where i want to avidly share it yeah. yet like i i got i got a lot of shit to refine like i think i might need to do an entire art style change soon because I think that might refresh. That sounds cool. That sounds like a good idea. Refreshing everything up. Because I've been watching... I did not realize this. What? I've been re-watching the original Ben 10. Right? Oh, it's different. It's very different. Well, the original Ben 10, first of all, holds up still. And it's phenomenal that it was only made in, like, what, 2005 or so? Yeah, something like that. It's phenomenal. Oh, but, my leg. Uh... It didn't oh. make... I didn't realize how much it in, influenced so much of my shit until I started rewatching it again. Like, if I watch Ben 10... <laughs> basically. Uh, but if I... Re, when I'm rewatching Ben 10, I'll see characters in that show where I'm like, oh my god, that just Accelerate. looks like... Accelerate. Well, that just looks like something that I drew. Like, yeah. that just looks like something I draw. Like, sometimes, like, the way the yeah. eyes are shaped... And like some of like the facial expressions, ben, ben it's like that just art looks style like... has a very like simplistic yet like very curvy and sharp. Well, it's sharp, but like that's style. how my art style is. My art style is sharp. It's got that like very sharp like. It's look very to it. flat. It's very sharp. It's very like stylized like that. But it's it's good. It's a good show. Yeah, still holds up pretty good. Remember our version that Mother, we made where, like... Motherfucker is still oh my God. overpowered as shit. Bad 10? Yeah, dude's got some ridiculous abilities, even in the first show. Dude's overpowered as shit. No. I did not realize that an entire, like, big villain arc for, like, one of those seasons is Kevin. all, like... No, not Kevin. Oh. But one of the big things is, like, the Halloween... Aliens. The Halloween like aliens? I completely forgot. Like first you get Ghost Freak, right? Ghost oh, Freak leaves the shit. Ghost Freak leaves the watch. Yeah, Ghost and Freak. he becomes like his own thing. Same with wasn't there a thing with the uh, the tech one as well? Well, I don't know, later? but I'll probably get to that at some point. But Ghost Freak leaves the watch and becomes like his own thing because yeah. like his species e exists even in like the smallest strand of DNA. 
So he was just been so he's just it, been chilling actual, in the watch. It's an actual fucking creature. Yeah, so he's been chilling it. in the watch this entire time. He's been chilling in the Omnitrix, and then he fucking bursts out. But you get him, then you get the fucking uh. werewolf alien that comes oh, down. Yeah. And then after that, the mummy shows up. I don't remember the mummy. And then the Frankenstein dude shows up. I don't remember that either. And then in the episode where the Frankenstein dude shows up, all three of the other ones are there too. Because Ghost Freak is the one that got them all together to do this shit in the first place. What is the mummy in the Frankenstein one? You don't remember the mummy in the Frankenstein? No, you'd have to show me a picture. I'd, I'll i show you them. Okay. But I, I thought for the longest time that I never saw those episodes. But yeah. re-watching some of them was starting to like reconnect synapses and i'm like oh i have seen this your your brain went oh shit oh shit we're back in business (laughs) yeah no it's (laughs) it's been dusting shit off it has been a wild time rewatching what's his name no it's been a wild time rewatching all the original series because like first of all those who don't know ben 10 was a big fucking part of my my childhood you it was had like my little, little alien maker yeah it was a big it was a big show for me like there but... was this little thing you could put different alien parts well the in alien maker that's alien, alien force maker. i'm talking the og dog i'm talking, I'm talking about big dick ben big dick ah yes omnitrix 10 year old fucking <laughs> big dick ben <laughs> is that what you're talking about cody uh galaxy but Rewatching it has been fun because, like, there are times, like, I was watching it with, when Nate and his brother were over the other night, the, he, he had come back after taking Jordan home and just sat and chilled with me for a bit and watched some, and I would, before the line came up yeah. in the show, I'd say, say it, it because it was just, yeah. it's been in my mind this whole time. You're in the Omnitrix, it's part of your DNA. I'm, I'm one of the aliens, but when Ben turns into me, he just turns into a depressed man. Who... He just he just goes to work at like a, like a store or something, <laughs> where he puts on, he's like, he looks around, he's like, I'll see you guys later. He puts on his beanie and he walks out <laughs> over to work. <laughs> Yeah. I would, I would love that if like your mid fucking ba- battle with like aliens and shit, Gwen's there, you know whatever, and Kevin and blah 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 blah, and then you go, all right, I'm gonna try this new alien, smack, right, and you just turn into this black skinny jeans wearing, Converse wearing, Jesus. six foot five skinny okay. lengthy right. motherfucker okay. with a wolf shirt. First of all, I, and then he wolf puts on shirt. A skinny, okay, maybe not. When's the last time I wore a fucking wolf it's, shirt? It has been years. Which shirts do you wear? My Hero Academia shirt. Well, I'm wearing. I'm wearing and then he puts on a red now, beanie. But... He looks over and he's like, "All right, I'll see you guys later." And then he ca- he goes like this, like hitchhiking, and he catches a ride and he goes to work and then he comes back, and and he he takes off his like. You know, like his work shirt, throws it on the ground, and be like, "All right, guys, I'm back." And then uh, he turns back into Ben. And then Ben was like, "What the fuck was that?" <laughs> Somebody animate that. That was a phenomenal episode, Cody. Good Thank job. I, that was my favorite episode of Ben where, Ten. Damn, where were you in the writing room? That, well, you know, I. I gave the green light for Ben 10, so. Well, I'm about to put the red light on this fucking <laughs> podcast, so thank you, everybody, <laughs> for listening to another episode of this. We're sorry that this one's kind of, it's, it's this all one's, over the place, uh, as usual, like but. Like Kung Fu Panda 3. But, um, mead. it's, you know, we're just, we're coming up on another, on another break. I'm Girl, getting called a by phone. a scam likely number that's all zeros. <laughs> It's all zeros. Yeah. Uh, But, yeah, so be sure to, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. You know, Spotify, Anchor, Google Podcasts. Based on YouTube, go check our TikTok and our other shit. Uh, And, uh, yeah, so, uh, 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 fucking...